Hello, Hannah. It is Pink Bella from Pink Bella Aloha Therapy. Another total impromptu go live. I was just trying to do a go live on YouTube. It didn't work. <laughs> so sorry, YouTube folks. I'll try and get that sorted. I really feel it's a lot to do with the energy right now. Um, when we start heading into the Mercury retrograde uh, period, even if it's a shadow period, we, there's um, a lot of interference with electronics and technology. So anyway, I will keep persevering. But in the meantime, hello everyone. It is Pink Bella. Anyone who wants to jump in, I will try and answer your questions. But I was talking to um, another soul sister today. And many of us are getting tired, fatigued on this twin flame journey. Is it real? Is it not real? In the last few weeks, I've noticed um, some of the twin flame coaches and teachers in the community have been casting fear and doubt, saying that there's another twin, to give up on your twin, um, and instilling fear and worry and concern. It definitely is a personal journey. You can absolutely, if you're fed up with waiting, if someone else comes into your life, ask the universe to bring someone else into your life, it'll be a soulmate. And if you're happy with that person, by all means, we all just want to be happy. But the key to this journey is to be happy and unconditionally loving towards yourself, whether you're with your twin or not. And until we can get to that point where we're not in so much agony and pain without them, where we can be go out throughout our day and send them love and light and feel their heart sending us love and light, even though we're not physically together, that's what we're working towards. So until that happens, even if twins do come together and they last for a little while, if, you, if you're not unconditionally loving towards yourself and or as your partner, your twin, it's really hard to stay together vibrationally. But that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. And it is totally a choice. It's your choice. What do you wish for? And then once you choose that, you do things to help your twin even though your twin and you are not together. And you can help clear for both of you, and you can get the union closer and closer together. Um, I started last November, as I said yesterday, and we are getting closer together, and I'm just in gratitude. I'm in gratitude that I'm on the planet. I'm in gratitude that my, my twin and I have met. I'm in gratitude that we are both alive at the same time. And I'm in gratitude right now that we have a nice friendship, and that to me means a lot. Um, so anyway. I've been waiting six years, probably longer than that. Some of you may have been waiting longer than that. You choose your path, and you're, you know in your heart of hearts who your true love is. And don't hand your power over to other teachers that are saying, dump your twin, and, you know, that twin's not real. There's another twin. Twins are being stuck in 5D. That's, the reality is there are a lot of twins and beloveds who are stuck, but we can help them. And I, during my sessions, I actually offer tools um, to help you help yourself and then also help your twin and your beloved. Okay, so I hope that clears that up because I know there's been a lot of fear in the community and that kind of came forth um, the last few weeks. The souls that are, um, I think the ones that are actually coming forth, that part of their role is to create fear and doubt and so you can push through it and say no that's not my path and then um, another part of it is I think that they're stuck so surrender is such a beautiful gift that we all can use at any single time so if you're having a hard time you don't know what to do um, take care of yourself number one and number two surrender to the universe ask your higher self and the higher self of your twin to take over and take care and just take care of yourself for that very day I'm wearing purple today in honor of our the portal that we're jumping through since the crown chakra and the energy frequencies are um, are cranking us all up upgrading us and just remember too, all beloveds and twin flames are not coming together at the same time People have come, are, have been pioneers ahead. There's like waves, think of waves in the ocean. So different souls and different twins are going to come together at different times um, when, the, when both souls are ready and when the area of the planet that you're going to live on is going to be ready as well. Okay? A lot of twins are on different parts of the planet. Um, some are not on the same continent. Some areas of the planet are still not clear or safe or etc. So I just wanted to give you a little pep talk today and let you know to keep the faith. And that's the message that came through in the reading yesterday. And it's still, absolutely, keep the faith. Keep the faith in who you know in your heart is your true love, okay? Don't let anyone else tell you who your true love is. Um, I had a, I think I mentioned it yesterday, I had a session yesterday, last week, and the woman absolutely wanted me to tell her 
who her true love was. Was this soul her true love? And I turned it around and I said, well, what does your heart tell you? Because I, on my journey, I had souls that told me my twin wasn't my twin, to let go. It wasn't possible. Um, you know, he's not good for you. Why are you still pining over this person? Let it go. Move on. There's no possibility. So, but that was a different time in a different energy. I, I had those readings in 2011 and 2012. That was before we had the huge shift on the planet. And also, what I found out recently, um, a few months ago, was my twin even as spiritually aware as he is, didn't remember our commitment to one another. And so I have compassion. I have compassion for all of you. I have compassion for me. And I got to work on clearing everything within me and within him the best I could. I asked, and his higher self said, yes, help me. So a lot of our twins are stuck, but that doesn't mean that we can just abandon them and forget them. Um, we can still, even if you're, even if you decide to go off and be with someone else, probably a soulmate, you're still going to do clearing and work, and you know in your heart of hearts who you want to be with, and that's that's totally fine too. Choose your path. But Source and my higher self are asking me, and asking quite a few of us right now. Sorry, there's back bad internet connection today. Asking myself and others, coaches, to come forward and, and give you a pep talk and let you know it is possible to come together with your true love, okay? The other message, someone asked a really great question yesterday. Um, I used to be in IT for 20 years. How did I transition to do intuitive work? It was gradual. I, did, I ran multiple realities at the same time. Uh, a friend of mine, a very dear friend of mine now who has just recently passed, gave me um, a lesson in intuition my first set of runes and tarot cards back in 1994. And I gradually would remember things. And I also did a lot of traveling. I went to a lot of sacred sites that I was called to go to on the planet. I, I went to Australia, Egypt, Greece, Hawaii, and everywhere I went I was activated and I activated. It's a mutual situation. And then um, gra it was gradual, gradual. I took Reiki in 1994. I did meditation, that sort of thing. But the world wasn't ready for me and a lot of souls. They weren't ready for the intuitive gifts yet. So I was still in IT, still in IT. Finally, in 2007, I lost my best friend, my mom. And uh, my, a lot of my intuitive abilities came to me through that break. And I, I actually did try, and, I took a year off, I did try and go back into IT, but the door was closed. It took me two years to figure out the door was closed, and then I was to do things. Once I met my twin, everything just expanded hugely. I'm sure it expanded for him as well, and I became a Reiki master. I also offer quantum healing. Um, everything that I could, all my gifts and abilities from all timelines, including Atlantis and Lemuria, came rushing back. So that's why I've actually been doing this work since 2011. Many of us met our twins between 2010, 2012, some before, some after, but there was a huge influx of us that met our twins in 2011 and 2012. So there was no coincidence around that your higher selves set you up all right so someone asked me today whether or not she's in IT whether or not um, to leave IT and she wanted to take Reiki and I my recommendation to her was to continue to do her work and you know find certain areas of the, her spiritual community and people to connect with and to take Reiki if she wished to um, and just try it out test out the waters because you know, until the door closes wherever we are, you're actually, you're being a light worker wherever you are, even in the IT field, but definitely work towards bringing your um, intuitive abilities online for sure. All right, I don't see there's any questions today, probably because it was last minute, but I just wanted to share that with you. I love you all so much. Source and the universe loves you all so much. When we go through these portals, like the lunar eclipse tomorrow, many of you sensitive souls have probably been crying for days. And I finally have gotten to the point where I'm not, but I was a little emotional two days ago. And that surprised me. So that's how I know how big the portals are. This portal is big. So disguised as now a new moon and a full moon, because it's like an Earth calendar, we're all used to that. We're actually going deeper into what's called the photon belt, and we're actually getting activated by the sun and light codes, wherever, you know, in nature. Um, Everyone, spend as much time as you can outside. Even if you have some fear about being in the sun, spend a little bit of time in the sun. You can be in the sun on off days, just a little bit, so your, um, 
your body and your physical light body can get activated and, and recharged, all right? So just know you, you're, you are loved so much. You haven't been forgotten. You haven't been abandoned. A lot of times when we feel abandoned, it's that deep, deep inner core abandonment when we and our twin left source and split off and we've been trying to find each other ever since and your twin feels it too but doesn't understand so we have to have compassion and help them as well oh i think somebody's online hold on hi sarah oh you're so welcome honey i was actually trying to be on youtube and uh it didn't work so no i know i got an email from one of my clients today and she's been crying and i said i know i have been there i have so been there and i don't know what it is with um we chose the role to be awake and to cry it's a fabulous release and i just saw a flash of light to the right of me but it's um it's just part of we're detoxing and releasing for ourselves and our twin you know so i just want to let you all know that it's always possible because that's what I was told. I was given readings for years saying, let go of this person. This person's not the one yet. I always had, he would come to me in my dreams. I would always get messages about him. And I just thought, no, there's something more to this. And a year ago, I had a friend send me a video from my coach and I was like, there's something to this, you know? And I traveled all the way around the world to see him last year and we didn't connect and I was devastated. Then I cried because I thought, well, I guess he's not my twin. I don't understand. So, but I decided to book a session with this beautiful soul. And she said, no, he was, he is my twin, but he, he, it had been blocked. Our meeting had been blocked because he wasn't ready for my light yet. And they didn't, the, the, all of our team and our higher selves didn't want it to go, um, horribly again, like it had in 2012. So because that after that, we didn't speak for a couple of years. So it's always possible. And I'm here to let you all know that it's possible and that you have the choice. You're empowered. We're empowered now. We're manifestors. So our twins not with us like by our side today. They're still with you. They're in you, side of you. And you're going to get to the point where you're going to feel get so strong and get in your power that when you're finally able to be with your twin, your twin's going to be ready to be with you. It's going to be awesome and this planet we're just going to rock the planet it is liz hi how are you thank you for joining you know what i every once in a while too i would find if i was really going through a bad day like crying and really sad then i realized my twin was missing me they feel incomplete they don't understand and a lot of times if you just send that soul love and light at that time and ask for them to send it back you'll start to feel better um, I also found some herbs and some essential oils that worked really well for me as well so if anybody um, you know is interested in that just let me know and just ask questions but everyone's different um, I there's also you can listen to um, high vibrational music like 528 megahertz music uh, there's lots free on YouTube that will uh, recalibrate you get you back into your heart and just set the intention for that to happen with your twin too because a lot of times we're pulled down if they're going through some really tough stuff and I was reminded with a session last week that um, sometimes we'll feel lots of pain or can't be able to breathe in this area and that's usually because our beloved is going through a tough time and they're being forced to let go of people, places, and things that they weren't expecting to. I call it the tower energy. What about heart Reiki meditation? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Liz, I think so. I think if you if you Google or even search on YouTube, I search like for 528 megahertz because that's the heart frequency, um, the high heart frequency. You find something that le you like that resonates with you. And and I, I was listening to that type of uh, music before I sleep. I still do. Before I sleep. And if I wake up in the middle of the night and I can't sleep, I listen to that too. Because what I, I'm finding is that my beloved is on a different time zone than me. So when I'm awake, he's asleep, vice versa. And so I'm finding, like, I was having to find some way to adjust to that. That he, I might be waking up with anxiety because he's had a really bad day and that sort of thing. So does anybody else have any other questions before I sign off? If you do, let me know. You guys are also beautiful. Thank you for joining in because I know this was last minute. I will try and pick a day and time to um, answer questions so everyone has a chance to kind of join in, but it'll be on video as well. But our, you know, we, we did make uh, an agreement with our twin to come back. When, and I flew all the way around the world in 2012 realizing that he wasn't awake, that he wasn't getting it, and even my presence and talking to him 
didn't work. So I knew that there were other tools. You're welcome. I knew that there are other tools that we need to help our beloved. Um, and I was pretty upset with Source at that point as well that I went all that way. But um, I listened to my guidance. I listened to my heart. And I knew at some point it would be okay that he and I both had to go off into our own worlds and heal. And um, I'm the person I am today because of that pain. I don't. We don't want to grow that way. We might, like we're at the point now where we don't have to grow that way. We don't have to be in pain. But if our twins are not listening to their hearts and their higher selves, they're going to be. Um, they are going to go through some things. And I know one other question that keeps coming forward: What if my twin is not free? What if there was somebody? Well, because they're not awake and aware to the point of they have no idea that, that maybe yet there's, they're allowed to be with another person. Um, a, for a lot of them, they've, they've taken their, what, 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 not to their heart, but their, their, like it's like a commitment, right? right? But you can ask the higher selves to start working away at that and just say, look, I'm ready and I want to be with this person. Can you hire yourself? Can you please go and help them sort out their life? Because that makes me uncomfortable that they're with another person. And a lot of times they're energetically connected to that other person. They don't understand why. So I can also give you tools to help you with that as well. But just know, regardless if they're with another person, you, there's still hope. There's always hope. There's always hope. There's always faith. Because you know who your true love is. And I know who my true love is. And uh, so I just want to let you all know to just keep the faith, okay? Just keep, just keep the faith. And this portal is a big one, and it's going to bring up lots of stuff for lots of people. And just um, choose peace and choose whatever makes you happy the next few days, okay? Just take really good care of yourself. If anyone else have any questions before I go? Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> all right, my loves. Have a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. And I hope... I noticed that the technology, that it kicked out a little bit, so I hope everybody can hear me okay. But anyway, have a beautiful afternoon and lots of love to you. Bye, everyone.